we're going to show you how to make a concrete chute to make it quick and efficient. All right, we'll quickly show you the process now, but we've got, we're going to make this one a lot wider. We've got um, two 8 by 2s here, these are just spare that we've got. We'll give you, basically we'll tell you how much it costs as well, just to give you an idea. Um, two 8 by 2s going there, a couple of offcuts of 4 by 2 just to brace across. And then the other 8 by 2s where Parker's swinging his trousers to. <laughs> we'll go up the sides and then we'll DPM it and then basically what will happen then the concrete wagon will cut to where the tipper is the end of the boom will come out into the chute that we've made and it'll shoot all the concrete down nice and easy because it's 10 tons and it's a pain in the ass to get down the far end that's why we're doing it so we'll show you now how to do it So it goes down to the end in the corner. We've got here. Timbers here overlap. Wrap the DPM around it. Because we've got to use DPM for the pad anyway. So a couple of strips. Staple to the side. Then all they do then is a nice wet mix and it'll It'll fly down. That's taken us 26 minutes. Oh yeah. We've used some off, off cuts of timber here just to bear some legs across. Um, so you overhang these, that basically brace the weight. So you've got this, it's basically nice and stable then as you can see. Um, yeah. What we'll do is when the concrete, when the concrete comes, we'll wet the whole chute. So it slips and slides, lovely. <laughs> What we do, the concrete chute, we part, well, the concrete wagon, we part to where the tipper is now. And then the chute will just dip inside of here and run down, lovely. Lovely. Right, so as you can see, the concrete is going to shoot right into this corner. The mix is going to be wet enough where it's basically going to self level all the way through. So all we've got to do is tamper down to the heights we need. We just need to cut off the baton to our dating points. We'll sort them out in a minute, um, but then it's gonna save all that time. So this will take roughly, I would say no longer than an hour maximum. If you were doing this in a wheelbarrow, it's gonna easily be half a day, all right? So if you weigh up the cost of that between the two, okay, the cost difference. This here, this setup, is about 80 quid, okay? So 80 quid to do that, a few times the man hour to wheelbarrow it, each person, so there's going to be like three people, plus the wait time on the lorry, times four, you know, you're going to be a few hundred quid. So you've saved yourself probably a third, this, the, doing this option here costs a third of the price of manual labour, okay? So that's why I wanted to share this with you. Use it in your own practice, nice and easy. Like I said, it's simple. It's taken us 20, 26 minutes, and this shoot is completely done, ready to take our 10 tons of concrete for our footings. But then also, you're saving your backs, okay? Nice, easy, so tomorrow we're fresh. Fresh as a daisy. So tomorrow, I'm gonna crack out all this done, block laying, this will all be done. Concrete wagons here, jet set. All ready to go. Oh yeah. <laughs>
get the, get the first lot through, which is dry, and after that, it does it all itself. Self leveling, baby. So, we've already done the drainage all through here. So, we put renewed the uh, main foul pipe for upstairs, goes underneath the floor, a new sweep and bend out to the stack you can see here, which is for the new disabled toilet. And then it goes through out to the uh, manhole outside, which we renewed the whole pipe for. We've put this timber uh, uh, along the outside edge here. So we know, get the concrete to the underside of it, and then we can level back through, just to make it a little bit quicker. So, because it's not gonna be a finished floor, we've got concrete, um, we've got Celotex, PIR insulation to go on top of the, on top of this concrete, and then we've got to screed 75 millimeters on top of that then. So to start with, this has been a little bit delay on this because the driver didn't have it wet enough start with so it's tacking straight to the bloody um, DPM that we had but I think now it's all sorted and once it's once it's sort of the right consistency it's, it's banging this will be done in 10 minutes like we showed you with the um, the footings we've done on this this extension 